What's up, guys? It's Eric. I'm in the studio here with the Arma Fire Team. This is actually after the run. I was fortunate enough to get this thing out in the snow. We don't get a whole lot of snows around here, so it's really cool to get this thing out and see how it handles on some different terrain. This thing absolutely ate it up, and these tires right here got mad grip on them. I love these tires. I haven't had an issue with any foams blowing out. Um, they are pre-vented from the factory, which is cool. I haven't uh, had an issue with any glue beads coming loose either. What happens too is when these tires balloon a little bit, the way these center lugs are right here, they really grip and go, so you get some mad traction. You can kind of see that in some of my uh, footage of how this thing accelerates. But I mainly wanted to give you guys some honest feedback on any damages on this truck, uh, completely stock, except for a couple of couple little things that I did uh, and some tuning as well. But overall, guys, this body right here, this is the toughest body I've ever uh, had as far as a stock car goes without having to go in and uh, do a shoe goo job or Gorilla Tape and stuff like that. Uh, the cage on this thing is super tough. I mean, nothing, I washed it so it's a little bit wet, but nothing is broken here in the, in the cage. It's just uh, definitely held this baby together. I have had a couple of cracks happen up here on the ceiling up here because I was bashing in 35 degree weather and doing some massive jumps and stuff in the, in the downforce of this truck coming down on hard gravel. I definitely put a toll on, on some of this right here, but you can order these panels separate, which is really cool that Armin did that, so you don't have to buy the entire body. As far as the setup in this truck, guys, I did go to the 15-tooth pinion. Uh, that was in the very first video that I did with the truck before I even did the maiden run. I went to the optional 15-tooth, uh, which is a claim 60 miles an hour, and I did go to 500,000 in the center diff, and also uh, did 30,000 up front. Uh, I did also go in and shim the diffs on this truck with the optional 13 uh, by 16.2 shims that come with the truck. I highly recommend doing that if you're going to drive really hard. I did uh, leave the shims out on the first bash and ended up uh, tearing out the ring gear in the back right here on that second video. Just from just from really hard driving and stuff like that, hard throttle and on throttle landings. So if you're going to drive like that, I would recommend going ahead and throwing these suckers on out of the gate. Uh, it goes in right here on your crown gear and ring gear right here on this left side. So you just want to pull your diff out and then slide that shim in and make sure it seats right inside the diff case so it doesn't bend up or anything. But that definitely uh, protects your, your uh, ring and pinion. Uh, it's better to have a little bit of a tight uh, gear mesh and then the gears will wear in together than to have it loose and then strip out. So I would definitely recommend putting that in. The truck is a little bit dirty in here. I still haven't got a good cleaning job on it. But I just want to show you guys the honest uh, uh, aftermath of this truck. The tower to tower is just slightly bowed. I did uh, break off this uh, wing mount back here. Or it's not got a wing, but it's this uh, rear brace mount. Which that's an easy fix. Uh, which was also compromising the back of the chassis right here where it did bow up just a little bit. If you guys can see that. Again, this is the stock RTR chassis, so it's gonna it's gonna take some damage if you're doing extreme stuff. So that's what uh, that's what M2C is for. Got a brand new shiny M2C chassis right here. Again, guys, this is for the Mojave. This truck takes the Mojave chassis, exact same part number. And also the chassis braces for the Mojave and Italian will fit right up in the fire team, along with the M2C drive shafts. I did go ahead and throw on the M2C drive shafts in the back of this truck, simply because I had them sitting in my toolbox and also in the front up here. I've also had guys want me to do a comparison, side-by-side -side comparison with a few other rigs. Uh, guys, this is with the Mojave 1 7 scale. As you guys can see, I'm lining, I'm lining up the tires, tire to tire. The uh, uh, fire team tires are much larger in diameter compared to the Mojave. But overall, again, it's on the same chassis, but the Mojave is just a little bit longer because of the body, stuff like that. Uh, it's got that uh, rear bumper system on it. Here's a quick shot of it next to the Creighton EXB 6S. Uh, they've got the tires lined up. This one is running backflip LPs on it, but you can see the difference. I think Creighton is uh, quite a bit shorter. It's going to be two inches shorter than the uh, Fire Team in Mojave. Do a little front comparison. See the Fire Team sits up much taller. And here's a quick shot next to my Italian XL, which has become one of my favorite rigs. I love the Italian. This thing absolutely screams. It's, again, it's on the Mojave chassis. So the same chassis as the Fire Team. It's just much more low profile. You guys can see that comparison. The fire team's like a monster compared to it <laughs> with the bigger tires and the and the tall shell. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick comparison next to a couple different rigs. All right, guys, we got the fire team out in this slushy, wet snow. We're going to play around just for a little bit, and I have some fun. I definitely got to get out in the snow. Uh, we don't get it very often around here, so definitely going to take advantage of it. Let's see what she'll do.
because this thing is tearing the snow up. Hey guys, I'm really impressed how well this thing's doing in the snow with stock tires. Right, guys what do you say we send the fire team on their way it's gonna be sketchy with this wet street run up <laughs> they made it all right guys let's make an rc angel Check it out. Tell you what guys, this, this fire team is one tough truck stuck out of the box. If you're taking launches like that, she's killing it. That's a hard slap. Almost on that curb. That was a rough hit. I'm telling you guys, this is a tough cookie to be an RTR. And there's LVC. All right, guys, that's going to be it for now for her third run. Uh, got to hit the uh, wood ramp this time. Uh, and she flies nice and she's super tough. Uh, everything held together nice. These tires right here are absolutely amazing. I've had a lot of guys ask me about these tires. Uh, these things have mad hookup, especially when they balloon a little bit. These center lugs right here will just grip and rip. I mean, it's like a saw blade. I mean, you're just gonna you're gonna get up and go. But I haven't had any trouble with any any tires ungluing. So big props to Arma for that.
We'll pull the lid real quick, get a quick look at the inside. As you can see, everything's still intact. Even the plastic chassis braces are still uh, still good. Nothing cracked or broken there. It's pretty awesome. I have to uh, look the truck up real close when I get it home and get her uh, cleaned up and dry it off, but uh, she's still driving. As far as the chassis goes here, give you a nice honest shot of the chassis. Again, guys, this is the RTR stamp chassis, uh, but it's still pretty straight. It's got a little bit of a bow in it right there. Uh, but some of that happened in the bash before this in the video before this forgot to mention guys i did end up throwing on a stock 6s crate and shock in the back right here because uh yesterday when i was playing in the thicker snow I ended up slamming a curb pretty hard and it broke the shock shaft it's no big deal i'll just uh, throw a new one on it and uh, get it back in here soon again big shout out to arma for creating something very unique and cool i just love these little action figures in here uh, some guys don't like it uh, i guess uh, each his own but i but i think it adds to the scale look and just the smiles and the coolness of it but this dude right here the driver it's not looking straight ahead, and I wonder he's all over the place. <laughs> but anyway, all right, guys, until next time, RC Dude 81. Peace out.